guys, welcome back to Quilt and Fursu. If you want I to see how I did these, come on, mama, did these blocks. This is A4, A5, A6, A7. Come on back and join me and Cookie over here. And we will show you how we put them together. They were pretty easy. Uh, they're pretty easy. Uh, I just got to get out of myself trying to make them perfect. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, but if you would come back and join us, uh -huh. I will give you some clips on how to connect these blocks, how to make them. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, this is block four. So I got all my pieces um, basted. So I think I'm going to do uh, the centerpiece first. And then I'll do, I'll put a triangle on each of these. And then put them together. So I got them all basted. And it's ready to go. And then I'll come back and I'll put... I'll add these um, to my uh, scripts on the side, and we'll go from there. But that's it. That's the block right there, number four. And it should be very easy to do. See how I got all my, my little tails going up under, so it's not so much bulk. Now that's one thing you have to really pay attention to where you put these little tails so you don't have any bulk because right here I have these. Yeah, and it's gonna I'm not gonna be any bulk there. So that's what I will be doing. Getting that one done. When I get the centerpiece done, I'll show you that and then on and on each step. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, guys, here is half of that. This one goes in the middle. So, that goes there. So, I'm going to do this other piece. And then, I will connect both of them to this right here. Very simple. That's really nice. So, that one goes there. And you want to put it on there to make sure that it does fit. They do fit. So, yep. So now I'm going to do these two pieces. And then I'll connect them to the middle piece. All right. Be back. Okay, guys. I have my center piece done. So now I'm going to add those right there. And I will add the triangle also. I'll probably get this done and I'll come back and show you how that looks. All right, looks pretty. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Which my little things here are a little bit off, but I think it'll be okay. We ain't gonna worry about it. I think it'll relax when I take the paper out. So we're not gonna worry about that so much. All right, I'll be back. Okay. I got this piece on, and now I'm going to put my triangles on right here. Yes. When you have a piece that don't want to fit, start at one end, get it as close as possible that you're happy with, and then go probably, I went probably right there, and then I, I tied off and went to this end to fudge it in. So you're not going to be accurate, but you can fudge it in. If you've got a piece that's too big or too small, just go from one end to the other. You know, start on one end, go so far down, and then tie off and go to the other end. I'll show you when I put my triangles on right here. I'll be back. All right, guys. I am working on this one right here. You see that little... I'll have to work that little piece in right there, but I'm just going around, around. Now I put a 
triangle here and did my last yeah sorry about that triangle there thing just running all over the place I'm gonna put that triangle there and then I'll put this last one right here right here and then my last triangle so then I have that finished but I'm just going around it I started with this one triangle that that and I am currently working on this one and it's not too bad just those little tags those you seam allowance get in the way just have to work around it but I will come back when I get it completed that's I just wanted to show you that get this part completed and then we'll put it our our little what you call zone and our little uh, our little uh cornerstone zone so we'll get those on too so that's what i'm doing guys i'll be back Okay, see I'm putting it on my on my block to see I may have just a, just a hair over right there uh, that's gonna go into my but I lay it out on my block <laughs> thank you baby to make sure that it kind of matches up I mean you're not gonna be perfect I mean hair off that's okay so that's i gotta finish up this one into a triangle mm -hmm. so just want you to see and i pressed it to make it lay down because i am this is how i put mine on i lay them sorry that was that i lay them together like that and uh, that's not and I sew it just like I would my hexagons. So when I flip it over, when I flip it over, it'd be a little tight. So I just press it down. But I got to do this one and the two other triangles. I do this triangle, then I do this one, and then the other triangle, and then I'll connect it. All right. That's how I do it. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I got my centerpiece done. Oh, yeah. Uh, it is what it is. I think it's cute. I mean, I'm not going to be perfect like her. But I do have it done. And I keep getting y'all a lot of... And it's maybe... Maybe... Let me get y'all back in. Maybe just a hair over the lines. But I think I can just kind of eat that up in in here. When I put this on. When I put this on, I think that it eat it up. I really do. Because it's just a hair off, okay? I mean, shoot me. But that's it. So I got that part done on it. So now I will put my sides, my cornerstones, and put the sides on first. And then the top, I guess I'll put the cornerstones on after I put the sides on. I don't know. It'll let me know what it want me to do. And I'll let you know. All right, guys, there it is. Be back. Okay, I got my sides on. See my little sides? And I'm just a hair off. This is a hair off. I don't think it's going to make a big difference. It's okay. 
But I look at this block. You see that? See that little white up there? It's like a little binding. It's right here too. And it looks like it may be on the side somewhat. But anyway, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to put my uh, cornerstones, my cornerstones on the ends of the top and bottom and put them together. I mean, if I put that little bit on there, my blocks are going to be too big. So I don't know if this was a mistake with the picture because you, as you can see, it's not even. It likes to drift off right here. I don't know. But then right here it looks like it is made into that cornerstone. So, I don't know. What you think? But I do know this. Let me get a little closer. You see? See how it looks like it drifts off? And up here you can see it better. Let me get a little closer for you. See that? That I'm not going to worry about. And then it looks like it don't have it on the sides. But then it looks like it have it on the sides right here. So, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to put my cornerstones on. The, on each, on the top and bottom. And I'm going to go from there. And I'm going to be through with it. See, I'm just a little bit off. Just a little bit. I, you know, I got to get out of myself. And, and not think I'm going to get it completely perfect. That's good enough. That, I'm happy with that. I'm good with it. Okay, I will put the top and bottom and the cornerstones on. And we'll have this one done, y'all. Yeah, we will. All right, I'll, excuse me. I'll be back. <sighs> okay, guys, I got it all complete. Um, it's in the little corner right here, yeah. See, it's a little bit off right there. Well, you know what? I'm not even worry about it. Because there will be another border of sashing and cornerstone going on these blocks. So, I ain't going to worry about it. I can hide it in that. That little bit. And I'll just have to make sure that I do that side first. So... I will probably put a clip on it so I don't forget it just to be on the safe side and I can fix it. But there it is. Block four, guys. And I think we're going to work on block five next. So it'll probably be in this video also. Just depends on how long it takes me. But I like it. I like it. I'm not going to complain about it, y'all. I am satisfied with it. Let me get y'all a little close-up, close-up. You can see? You can see? I'll have to make sure that I fix that. I make it fix it, but what was going on is I had to, feed, I had to fudge it in. So I kind of just didn't pay too much attention to how the block was going to land. So... Anyway, and when the papers are out, it may just relax and be fine. And I can always pull a little fabric from the side there, right from the side, and even it up. So, many ways to fix it. So, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not taking it loose. It would be lovely. All right, guys. Block four, A4. So, we're going to go to A5 next. Thank you. I will be back. Okay, guys. This is block 5A5. And it is pretty easy. It's going to be pretty easy. I am doing my um, flying geese. I have my blocks ready. And I'm doing my flying geese on this. So it should be pretty easy. I will connect my flying geese together. And like this, I'll do two of them, connect them together, and then connect the blocks with those. Yeah, this one is going to be easy peasy. It's my, when I cut these out, I put the little triangles that go with them. 
in a clip so they all would fit. So, yeah, that's what I got going on now. I'm going to do A5, and then we will do A6. And A6, you can see, it's going to be very simple. Yeah, we better enjoy the simple while we can, right? All right, I'll be back when I connect connect these pieces together. Yep, I'll be back. Okay, guys, this is A5, and I have my pieces all put mm -hmm. in my units put together. Now all I got to do is put them together. I told you this one's going to be a quick one. I guess the most work you're going to do is making your flying geese. And can, once you connect them, it's easy peasy. So there's mm -hmm. <laughs> there's block five and block six. Mm -hmm. I will show it to you. Well, I'm not going to go into too much detail because you can do that. You can do that mm -hmm. uh, on it. But I'm going to put this together and mm -hmm. uh, put unit these units together. And it will be ready to put in its little bag mm -hmm. to wait for its brothers and sisters. So, there it is, guys. What is I am trying to get the colors as close as possible. I know it's more of a reddish, but I'm using what I have in my stash. And all these are production, reproduction fabrics that I'm using. I ordered them a long time ago. And so mm -hmm. that's what I'm using on this quilt. All right, guys, I will show it to you after I get it put hey, together. Hey, mom. See can you in I a bit. To... Okay, guys, here is block A5. We got it all done. She's ready. And let's see. Is she. She fits. So. I had to do a lot of fudging, but I got it laying down, and it's there. Once the paper's out, it'll lay down and relax. So, yeah, she's ready. So, next will be A6, and I will be moving on to some more blocks. But I am satisfied with it. I got it as close as I could from being to the color. So, I think it's pretty. I think I did a pretty good job. Um, I'm learning that I need to do a little bigger seam allowance. Because you see that ain't really straight. But, like I say, it will relax when I take the papers out. But in here, it was fraying, and it was really close to my stitches. So, I got to pay attention to doing a, a bigger seam allowance. All right, that's it. So, we'll be moving on. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, this is A6 in... This is going to be very simple. This is all this is right here. I got this one done. I got to put another triangle on the, on the side of this one. Yeah, on the side of this one. That's what I got to do. And then I got to do this bottom piece right here. Uh, let's see. Trying to show it to y'all. I will be doing that bottom piece. And that's all it's consist of. So I'm going to do that and put it together. And I'll be back to show it to you. And that is A6. Thank you. Okay, guys. This is A6. Very simple to put together. I know I got one of my, one of them don't, uh, that one. 
don't quite match up, but it's there. And it's just a little bit off where it's not touching the center block, but we ain't gonna worry about that. It's gonna be fine. So this block of A6, so we're going to A7 next. And it's a pretty block. It's really pretty. And it fits in the square. Yes, it does. So, that's as close as it's going to get. You can't get it no better. So, don't beat yourself up. I'm not beating myself up. All right. We'll move on to A7. Okay, this is A7. And, you know, a lot of people said that these here... They left the papers in and then cut a bat, a cut a hole. I'm all off. A hole into the block and took their papers out. Well, I made mine. Yes, you can see the shadow from the from the front side. But once it's quilted and all of them together, you won't even notice that anymore. But I took my papers out. I made my um little leaves, footballs, whatever you want to call them. <clears throat> and got my points as straight as I could. And I took this one out and I starched it. Made it really hard. This is what most applicators, some applicators would do. I ain't going to say most because I don't know. But I took my paper out before I applicated down. I starched it, kept the shape, and then I glued it to the block so that's what I'm gonna do with the rest of them and then all you gotta do is put your little four blocks together so I'll be back once I get them done I'll show you one of them um without the paper in it what I did to it all right I'll be back okay see I have my glue and I made sure I didn't glue the edges I just want to put it in place and hold it down so I can sew around it so now I'm going to put it on, and I will probably iron it, um, press it to dry the glue. But that's how I got my glue on there, and I'm using that glue there to do it. On the other one, I used my school glue, which either one will work. But I'm going to put it on my piece. I shouldn't be on my book here. I, I can't I can't do it holding the phone, but I'm just going to put it down on my piece, and then I'm going to hit it with the iron to dry it. I'll show you that once I do it. Okay, so I have it glued down. I'm going to have to work on that point when I get to it, but that'll be okay. And... It's a little bit long, so I'm going to have to fudge that in to make sure it's right on the point. But that'll be okay. I can get it done. Or I can take it off now and push that in so I don't have to worry about it at that point. That's probably what I'll do. All right. I'll show them to you when I get them done. I'll be back. Okay, guys. There it is. What you think? What you think? I think it's pretty cute. There are all four of my blocks right there. A4, A5, A6, A7. There's all of them. So, I hope you enjoy watching this. I'll be back to close out this video. Thank you. Hey, guys. Here they are. Can you see them? Can you see them? Can you see them? Aren't they pretty? Aren't they pretty? This one right here is A4, A5, A6, and A7. Uh, yeah. I got them done. I got them done. So, I am really happy with them. Um, I just got to get out of myself thinking I'm going to make them perfect. As I look at the pictures of the blocks, I can see that hers is a little wonky. So, some of them are wonky. Some of them, hopefully, will, they will uh, be okay. But then, <laughs> she tries to show y'all her dolls. 
they'll be okay once we put the sashing on them and everything and i'm happy with them i'm very happy with them so if you like what you see I'll, i got a ruler set where are they where is it hold on let, let me get it Hey, baby. What I have to do that? That is my. Uh, that is my mommy. Sorry about that. I got this ruler set here off of uh, Amazon, and uh, to measure your blocks in your. Uh, stop it, young lady. Your blocks in your sashing blocks. So this may help you out. I haven't even opened it. I just been putting my blocks back on the page, uh, lining them up like that. But I got to look at this really good. I think this is without the, without the sashing on it. I'm not for sure, but uh, I will read it and make sure that that's, what it's about but you may want to i don't even know what i paid for it but it wasn't really much and it's got both rulers in it for your blocks and for you know what i'm gonna go ahead and open it because i gotta open it anyway right so i just kind of got it and threw it in the box so i can show you show you each one of them Cookie over here playing music, y'all. They got them stuck together. I, I sorry. Ooh, they had them stuck together. That is. Uh, <laughs> I guess you can. I, I don't know if you can see. That's the one for. I don't know what y'all see. I guess it's the TV behind you. But this is the square one. That's the square one there for your blocks. And this one right here, y'all can see that better. This one right here is for your borders. So, um, they may can help, that can, may help you out with doing them. I haven't actually tried them. And I got my blocks, stop little girl. Huh? So it looks like this is with, it looks like, see, it's lining up that the borders, it's, it's too big. So that means that once you put your borders on, your block should be the size of this right here. And it looks like it is a four, four and a half, four. Looks like it's got the border lines on it. You can't, I know you can't see it, but looks like that's the sashing, not borders sashing on the top and bottom and sides that's what it looks like so that may be a help while you're doing this i don't know um we'll see we'll see but anyway i appreciate you guys going along this journey and we're going to be doing a zoom meeting uh this month which is a week from a week, or a week in a couple of days it's going to be on the 28th at seven o'clock it'll be a link in the video for you to click on uh, <clears throat> my daughter hopefully will be on live she'll be doing it broadcasting it on live and if you can't get on the zoom she'll instruct you how to get on it and if you have any questions you can ask and she will because i'm i'm on the zoom on a different um on my laptop and she'll be on the tablet or the phone or something but anyway she'll be able to answer all your questions she'll see all your all the chatting and whatnot um but if you want to come in on the zoom show where you're at the ones that's doing it uh share your blocks with us and we talk about a lot of things we just if you have questions that don't consist of the dear Jane that you would like to ask me. Uh, feel free to join. It's free. Nobody has to pay for anything. It's just communicating with each other, getting to know each other. 
and I would hope that you would take the uh, opportunity to come in and, and talk to me. I would appreciate that. So sometimes we may be working on something, just depends. But most of the time it's a whole show and tell. So, and I'll have another video coming out so I can show you guys my Wonder Lane. I got it finished. And my Amherst. I got it finished. I haven't showed y'all that. So, and you see the blocks on the board there. Um, it'll be a video after this showing you this block here. I got one more block. And so, this one won't be in the show and tell. Because I won't get that block until next month. But I'm going to show you the two quilts that I do have finished. And I hope you will enjoy it. Thank you guys. I know you could have been doing anything. But you took your time to come and share it with me. And I appreciate every minute you spend with me. And I appreciate you all. I want you guys to have a blessed evening. God bless you and your family. And uh, please give me that thumbs up. Share my videos and subscribe so you'll see my next video. You see Cookie's thumb there, y'all? Yeah, she wants y'all to give her mama some thumbs up. She would appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You guys have a blessed evening. Bye-bye.